All right, welcome back. So I've got the new E-Flight RV7 here. Um, this little thing is a lot of fun. Um, I had this thing on pre-order for months. It finally came in, and I think it was worth the wait. Um, I've really enjoyed flying this thing. This is going to be probably the sixth flight. I've got everything dialed in, and with this airplane, it was one of those, um, you know, manually set up your trims, make sure they're all straight, do your CG, you know, about where you think you want to fly it at, and fly it, and it's like one click of trim and it's done there's nothing else to do and then within a couple of flights you already get very comfortable with this thing so three or four flights in and you're doing low pass inverts and see you learn the airplane very quickly um it's got the um little avian 45 amp esc underneath that um underneath the battery here i'm running on a 4s 2250c smart pack and the way i like to place my battery is just um push the battery up right until it meets the lip of where the plastic begins. We're behind the motor mount about right there. So about right in the middle of the battery tray. That's where it works the best for me. They did a really good job. They, they zip tied all these, um, these, uh, servo leads up. Usually they don't do that. Usually you have to do that yourself, but they went ahead and zip tied it up. They've got a bind plug extension there, and you can also, um, update and register your, um, receiver through this as well and just your standard little a334 you know servos spectrum servos uh they're laid out you know in a very standard way um, push rod set up there and uh, yeah i mean i really like this thing the only thing i don't like are the wheels so they give you the same wheels that they put on their jets so the viper the warthog the f-16 it's those about they're about a mm, 2.10 inch wheel so it's kind of weird it's not a two inch wheel and it's not a two and a quarter it's kind of in between and it's kind of skinny so finding wheels that are better that'll fit is a little bit tough the only wheels that will fit without any modifications other than obviously drilling out the wheel hole the wheel um diameter are the dubro two inch ultra light wheels they're foam um, they are so much better than what comes on it. Uh, what comes on it is extremely, extremely hard, and it sounds terrible going down the runway. Um, this will be the first time I actually take this thing off from grass, but um, on the road it handles pretty well. It does get a little squirrely on the rudder, so when you do come in and taking off, just make sure you take off nice and slow, and you know, just be prepared to work the rudder. Um, I really like the uh, colors here. I really love the gray on the wings. You can see it very well. I really love the, the, the pans are plastic. They're not foam. And it looks good. They even give you um, Allen hardware, which is a huge upgrade in my opinion because the Phillips that they've been providing with these planes are just absolutely terrible. And I did go ahead and glue the step uh, the steps on. I thought they looked really cool. And the servo setup for the flaps and the ailerons is it's what you've seen before, gray servo tape to cover up the wires. You do have two um, white LED running lights on each wing. And then you've got, of course, your strobes or your nav lights. You have a green, and then you've got a red right there and your running light right there. And you can see those very, very well. And then coming back here to the tail, you can see that uh, you have a little light right on the bottom end of the rudder. And that actually looks really cool when you're flying um, at dusk. You can see the rudder and you can see the airplane going away from you. I really like it. The plastic clevis design with the rubber band. And uh, yeah, um, the only Phillips hardware on this airplane that you'll have to use is to hold on the horizontal stabs and that's it. My paint job and you know everything come out came out looking very, very good. Little blemish right there, which is not a big deal. Everything else, I would say, for a foamy is perfect. They do give you um, little fake exhaust stacks right there, which look really, really nice. And the landing gear is stout. I actually really like the airplane. It's a very, very small airplane. Uh, that's for sure. Like I said, it's only a little 45 amp ESC. And one thing you'll notice is... The canopy is absolutely massive. I mean, it is huge. And I mean, it's got a substantial amount of weight to it. So when you are CGing this airplane, make sure you put this on. The pilot figure looks pretty good. I mean, it's about as good as you can ask for, really. But the um, uh, Lexan here or whatever is very clear. There's very little scratches on it. And this is very important because this is what you really see on this airplane. So if you do get one of these airplanes and this has got some scuffs or some glue marks, you need to call Horizon because this is the centerpiece of this airplane. It's absolutely huge. 
and it locks into place with a very positive click. It's not going to come off at all. Little fuel tanks there on the wings. They do have molded rivet um, rivets. You can maybe see them. Um, they look really good. Little flaps. This plane doesn't even really need them, but it's really nice that it has them. Three-bladed prop. Little Spectrum branded brushless motor. I mean, I actually really like it. I mean, for the price, it's okay. You know, it's it's okay. It may be a little bit more for what you're getting. I wish it was maybe like the 230 area, but I'm not going to complain too much because I actually really like this airplane. And of course it has smart, uh, it has safe, and I'll show you that. And I'll show you that this thing can take off and land from grass, I would assume. I'm pretty sure it'll be just fine. And uh, it's very floaty. It has really good stall characteristics for a low wing sport airplane. Um, very, very wide wings as well. So they're not very long, but they're wide. And it just has a beautiful presence in the air. It's an absolute pleasure to fly. So I have safe off, uh, but I do have safe on my, um, on my A switch just because if I sneeze or something, why not have it? You know what I mean? So uh, that's kind of just me. I always have the safe select turned on. I don't fly with safe, but I always like to have it. So we're gonna do a full flap takeoff just to get off of this grass as fast as possible. All right. And as you can see, it doesn't take much at all. So I went up to half flaps and I'm gonna show you the low speed characteristics of this RV7. You would almost be fooled into thinking you're flying something like a timber. I mean, it is that accurate and that smooth at low speeds. And like I said, low wing small, you know, or low wing airplanes, sport airplanes, uh, usually they're not the most stable at low speeds. Um, this wing does have quite a bit of uh, dihedral in it, which really helps. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the flaps off and show you the full power um, while I've got a full battery come down. and you have unlimited, unlimited vertical for as long as you want it. Tons of power to get out of any situation. It's a very quiet airplane as well. The aileron response is snappy, but not as snappy as I thought it would be. Now, I for one love super fast aileron rolls. I like a lot of control authority. Um, I'm used to flying that way. And this almost has enough for me. But it's definitely enough. I mean, I'm not going to complain. A little bit more would have been nice. So here's your full aileron roll. So you get two rolls in very comfortably. A little bit faster uh, would be nice. I'm running 100% rates and I think like 15% expo and that's on everything. Um, not a whole lot of rudder authority. Uh, now you can obviously manually um, increase the throw and by all means I probably will do that. Um, but this is the stock way they tell you to build it and there's just not enough um, rudder authority for me. That's full left rudder and it won't really swing the tail around. And I like to be able to swing the tail around pretty quickly. Let's show you some inverted flight. Inverted flight, obviously low wing sport airplane, a little wing. It flies just as good inverted as it does upright. There's just no complaints. Uh, it's not squirrely. I mean, don't go too slow inverted with a plane like this. But it's, it's a very easy airplane to fly. It really is. I mean, I would hand this to someone who's, I mean, if, if you know how to fly four channel, by all means, go ahead and, and pick one of these up. You'll be just, you'll be all right. Tons of power. And I'll go ahead and do some more slow flight to show you just kind of what it's like. Full flaps and uh, the flap settings. Um, this is what they say in the manual. I have no elevator mix. It doesn't need it. You can drop your flaps more. Um, you might get some weird adverse effects if you do it too much. Throw in that rudder, keep the wings decently lay, uh, level, and I mean, you just fly right around. I'm not worried about stalling or anything like that. 
And if you get in trouble, dump the flaps and just go and climb up, gain your altitude and, you know, resort yourself or whatnot. And I'll show you a full speed flyby to give you an idea of how fast this little thing is. It's, it's, it's quick, but it's not anything impressive. Excellent elevator authority. See if we can do a snap roll with this thing. Wow, that was the very, very unexpectedly quick snap roll. Let's do that again. It actually threw me off guard. I did not expect it to snap roll that good. What an awesome snap roll. Here we go. Wow, that snap roll is insane. Well, if you want to get a good roll rate with this airplane, mix in the rudder, because I'm going to tell you, that was, a, that was a very, very fast roll. Pretty cool. I've never done that before with this plane. Truly threw me off guard at first. Had to regain my bearings for a second. I'm getting eight-minute flight times off of this airplane if I fly um, conservatively. Even if I fly hard, I'm still getting seven minutes. And the ESC will tell you when the battery voltage gets low, but just in case, set a timer for around six or seven minutes until you learn your pack's um, you know, uh, characteristics, how fast your pack drains. Um, but the airplane is extremely efficient and it doesn't require, um, it doesn't require much amperage, um, especially for the power that it has. Um, so your batteries aren't hot. You don't have to high. You don't have to have a, a high C rating or anything. What a fun airplane to fly! You will get comfortable with it very quickly. Um, so you know you probably will get four or five flights in and you'll get to where you're really relaxed and you'll and you'll get to where you really learn the airplane so it's not an airplane that um excites a, you know for a long time you get familiar with it but that doesn't that's not a bad thing at all so i'm gonna actually do a low pass as slow as i can get it i'll show you the stall here in a minute and i'll come in and land it and wrap it up full flap low pass and go straight up. Now I'm going to show you the stall. I hope you can see it. I won't go up too much. All right, so here is the stall. No throttle, full elevator. Little wing drop to the left, but nothing bad. I'll fly out over there. So it does. It drops a wing just a small bit, but it recovers itself and it falls in a small circle. So the stall characteristics, I give it an A. Not a doubt. I mean, it's easily uh, recoverable, even for someone who's newer. So I'm going to go ahead and land it, and we're going to see how it does on this kind of rough grass. It's it's short grass, but the ground is rough. And I'm going to do a full flap landing, and you can do half flap landings if you want to carry a little bit more speed, just in case you are. Uh, afraid of stalling it um, and it does require a little bit of throttle on final Woo, bumpy huh that's it it's an extremely easy airplane to land just because it's a low wing and it's a sport airplane don't let that um, concern you uh, it's it's extremely easy to land and if you landed half flaps you probably wouldn't even need to carry a throttle um, as long as you don't have a heavy uh, headwind but it's very easy to land very forgiving and it doesn't it doesn't want to nose over or anything and these pans are made of plastic so that means that they're going to take a pretty good amount of abuse um, so yeah, I, I really like it. I think it's a great airplane. It's something I plan on keeping, and uh, I really enjoy it. I really do. If you have any questions about the RV7, um, please leave a comment, and thanks for watching.